Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're back here for week two of Home Team Sports. We have none other than Coach Bishop from Loudoun Valley High School. They'll be taking on the Muslim Appleman Friday night in, in uh, Inwood, West Virginia. Coach, thanks for being on the show tonight. Hey, I appreciate you having me. Hey, Coach, I, I, I wanted just to ask you um, – a quick thing. Why do you guys decide to play West Virginia schools being that you're in um, Virginia? Well, honestly, my background, I'm a graduate of Martinsburg High School. All right. Uh, so I, I graduated Martinsburg. I still live over this way, over the mountain. You know, I still in contact with all these guys. You know, even when we had like the alumni games, you know, 10 years ago, I played in those as well. Like I just, I stay connected with these guys over here. You know, Hedgesville, Mossman, Martinsburg, Spring Mills. I coached with a lot of those guys. I coached against them. I played against all the area teams in West Virginia. So it's good to just kind of stay connected with my roots. That's, that's, that's nice. I had no idea you were from Martinsburg. So you're familiar probably with home team sports, Um, and we're covering you guys. Uh, last year, yes. you had a six and four record. Um, what, what, do you, what can you take away from last year that you're building on this year to have another successful winning season? Well, I, I took over four years ago and just trying to change the culture and, you know, build that up, you know, the program versus focus on, like team by team. And that's what we've been striving to do over the last four years. And I feel like now that we're post COVID, that's really what we've done. And really just trying to build on the success of each year and really kind of start with the culture, you know, off, you know, off the field and from the weight room to the classroom. And then that usually takes care of itself, carrying over to the games on Friday nights. And we're expected, you know, to build on last year and, obviously make the playoffs and make some noise in the postseason. And obviously it starts with game one against Musselman for us. Yeah. Musselman is going into the game. I want to know as they defeated Hanley last week and um, Musselman is, is a, it seems to be a year in year out playoff team in West Virginia. Um, so you're going up against some good competition. Um, what is one thing that stands out to you that you've seen on the film that Musselman do, does well this year? Well, the head coach, Brian Thomas, actually was one of my former players. You know, I coached him at Hedgesville Hospital. That was my first stint before I went to Loudoun. And so I know him well. You know, he's a great coach. He was a great mind back then. I have the highest respect for him and the program that he's built. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of tradition with Musselman. You know, I, I watched Musselman win state championship in the 80s when I was a little kid. And they just have built on since that. And Brian just runs a top-notch program. I mean, their structure, their discipline. Those kids are tough as nails, hard-nosed. They're going to be in the right position. So we know Friday night it's going to be a battle. You know, we're looking forward to it. It's a great atmosphere over here in West Virginia. And our kids are excited to come over the mountain because uh, I feel like really Musman and us are pretty similar and just, you know, kind of like the demographics and the kids and blue-collar type attitude. And uh, we got some big kids like they do and some skilled kids. And we're expecting a, a great football game. And I think we're going to, you know, obviously put on a show for all the fans. Um, coming over the mountain, when when you're leaving to go back over the mountain, what is one big key that you guys have to take care of Friday night to make you guys be successful in, in this matchup? Well, I think that, you know, they obviously had a game, and last week we started off on a bye. So we got to just make sure that we're locked in on all the little things, you know, because they already played for 48 minutes. And we have obviously a couple scrimmages, but we still obviously on game nights, it's different. It's 48 minutes. So we got to kind of just, you know, pace ourselves and make sure that we're good to go for 48 minutes, take away any like pre-snap penalties, you know, obviously no turnovers and really kind of take care of those things just to be able to play us, you know, and I feel like, you know, we take care of those things and obviously, you know, I think we're going to have some success on the field and we know we're going to be in, you know, there's going to be ups and downs because Muslim's a good football team, well coached. You know, they got great kids. You know, we're just excited for it. We just know we got to come and just take care of our business and take care of us and really kind of just let the, the play speak for itself. Let's talk about your offense. On the offensive side of the ball, who, give me two key players to watch out for that may make an impact in Friday's night contest. Well, I mean, we, we got a number of guys we feel like can make that impact. I mean, obviously our strength is an offensive line. Uh, we got probably the biggest offensive line that I've had since I've been at Valley. You know, we got a, a left tackle that's committed to Duke, Mason oh. Wade. 
you know, he's 20 some all for D1, 6'5", 290. And, you know, he, he's a monster, you know, and really has the guard right beside him. He's a returning starter, played right beside him all year. Will Rimmel, we got a 6'5", right tackle, Will Saba. We got Mike Caban in center. We got Severin Welsh, three-year starter on the right guard. So our offensive lines are strength. You know, we're going to run the ball. The, a running back, John Light, who, you know, runs a 4'5". You know, tough kid. And then we got skilled guys like Cole Kilhorn, Aiden Harris, that they're just dogs. You know, they've been multiple year starters. Cole's a four year starter. You know, so I feel like that, you know, we got some weapons out of the backfield. And obviously got all much a line about run behind that, you know, we're, we're hoping that we can come out and play, you know, play some good football, you know, and give uh, a Musman a challenge. Yeah. Um, they say you win and lose ball games in the trenches. So I think if, Feel it's well for you guys that your offensive line is is your strength of your offense. Now let's transition over to the defense. The, who are the two key players that can make a big impact to slow Musselman's off the um, offense down so you guys can go back over the hill with a W? Again, we're, we're, we're good in the box. Uh, we got returning start linebacker like Mike Caban, Caden Jerome inside. I mean, Mason, as I mentioned, is going to be on the D-line, Brody Willard is, you know, a, a multiple-year starter, three-year starter on the defensive line. So, I mean, we, we got the guys in the box, Evan James, a stud outside backer, and then Cole and Aiden and those guys, you know, on the back end, you know, we're hoping we got some ball hawks. I mean, they're just smart, high football IQ kids, you know, and we're just excited for them to get after it. I mean, they've been really chomping the bit with that bye week one. You know, it's been a while since they got to hit somebody, you know, in an opposite color jersey, so – you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready when we get off the bus. Well, Friday night is the time that they'll get to knock all the rust off, get a chance to showcase their talent. Coach, um, I'm so thankful to have you on here. You know, here at Home Team Sports, we like to see our athletes win both on and off the field. Um, be sure to tune in, guys, to Musselman High School versus Loudoun Valley High School Friday night at 7 o'clock in Inwood, West Virginia. Coach, thanks for being on. We appreciate you. Hey, guys, I love you guys, and God bless. I appreciate for having us.